way to server. Next is connection multiplexing. Now the advantage that you get when the when you advant get where uh, like when let's say you have you have logged into gateway from here. No, I'm already in server. So this is. I'll move the file so that it'll ask me for password. Come on. Okay. Now it's ask me for password. I don't want it to log in without uh, password or passphrase. So let me log into server. So I had logged in from gateway to server, and uh, let me go to let, let's say if I want to if I had to create one more session from same gateway to server, it's again asking me for password. Now if I want to avoid this, this is when we need, we can uh, use this feature of connection multiplexing. It says in config file, enter these commands. So let me do that. I'm doing it in gateway. I'm just giving another name instead of server because it might, I don't want to confuse myself. Control. and then file name there are some variables that I can give along with it for it to create unique file names but okay I need to log in as dot server one because that's what I have created in config file Okay, I forgot to give host name. Let me do it this, this way. Okay, now already logged in from gateway to server. Now there is one more session somewhere where there was gateway. Okay, so this is again gateway. Let now let me try again log in to gateway to server. Okay, let me open another session to gateway. This I had logged in as root. Okay, probably it works only over time. No. Let me go into the because over SSH because I'm already doing SSH to it so that's why it's not allowing so let me go to the physical access of the device probably now let me open another terminal This is gateway. Now see if from shell, from direct host, it was not working over SSH. From direct host, second time I did not have to give any password. This is what is called multiplex. Since you already have a session from same host to same host on over the same user name it does not ask you for password next time and it's not logging out because I have
to log out from here also. Now it will log out. Just to repeat it. Okay, I have created first time it asked for password. Second time it did not ask for password because it's doing multiplexing of sessions. Okay, there are some references that you can check. Best is uh, man page SSH for uh, man SSH man SSH and so config or man SSH D and uh, and then open SSH manual page Wikipedia and this book you know, if you are really interested on SSH uh, you know you can you can just check this book out. Questions.